All right. So I'll be right over there. All right. This is workshop number five for the Onosaguede Cultural Center, Seneca Iroquois National Museum, Artist in Residence Pathways to Success Program. Wow. And I'm to be here. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so yay, here we are. And we're at Tri-County Arts today. And uh, we have one of our artists who came in person. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Leora Nigyaso. Uh, Leora White. And I am a turtle player, Seneca Nation member. And I am an artist. And I'm excited to be here today. Awesome. <laughs> and I think maybe someone else. Nope. Maybe. Yes. Oh, yay! We have another. Another live and in-person person. <laughs> it was, yay. I'm, I'm recording by the way. So if you don't want to be recorded, I'll, okay. Okay, cool. So everyone here's Tri-County Arts and here are our lovely hosts. Is it Michael? I'm Paul. I'm Allison. Oh, would you like to introduce yourself too? What do you do? Awesome. Did you bring any? Awesome. Cool. So, and there's Joe over there. And I'm Philippe, who's behind the camera. And I guess we can get started. Oh, wait. And then, Sam, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? Sure. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm an artist. Uh, I'm actually a community educator with the Seneca Language and Culture Department. I do a lot of beadwork. Uh, a little bit of tufting, and I'm most well known for my moccasins. Nice to meet everybody. Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you as well. Okay. So, oh, do you have something? I should have brought a. Well, yeah, we got I should have brought my tripod. Okay. <laughs> I know. I have. A, uh, we have like tons of tripods and whatnot. So, well, I'm just gonna switch the. Yep, okay. I'm gonna switch the view so it's just easier to hold it like this. It might be. I wish there was some type of technology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay. All right. Wow. And then so we can just maybe we could put it over there. Yeah, wherever. Make life so much easier. Oh, okay. I guess. Oh, is it this way? Oh, okay. I'm gonna just switch it around. There. Okay. I'll start by. Um, this is technical stuff. We don't have to go pretty be technical with it. You know I'll put the camera over here. Now it's going to be a little bit Would you want to thank you, Michael? So we're not going to go, like, this is not really going to be a camera course, but just in case she did, she did. Okay. You're, you're interested in how to use a camera, I just grabbed these cheat sheets. And um, please email this to I put that Sam. Sam. Um, or I don't know if you guys see her. You can just give her the use. But um, yeah, here. Yeah, you. And I can actually scan it in. Yeah. Send it out. I actually have that. You do? Okay. Yeah. So do you want this little one? Well, I don't know. I just I like it because it has a little bit of like. I love this little one. Uh, it's really bad. Yeah. I'll send it over. I'll just. Do it. So the good thing about this is you actually could just do the camera like autofocus, and most of the time it's going to be totally fine. This is just if you really like are having trouble with it and you want to like really play with the settings. Um, most of the stuff, honestly, that I do these days is just my cell phone. Yeah. The only time I ever use my camera is if I want like a print of something. So then, you know, then I would start getting technical. But um, for the most part, well, first of all, if you guys have smartphones, yeah. 
Okay, cool. So we can kind of just draw the smartphones if you guys want. And um, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. I said the awful feeling. <laughs> like, where is it? <laughs> uh -huh. They should find itself. Sure they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good. Um, yeah, I think it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, so we have the white boxes. If you guys want to just put them over here, I'll just put this little one. We have two oh. ones that you probably can fit yourself inside. Um, and then we have this little guy. And you can get these, um, you can get these for like off of like Amazon or off of like C &H, um, Yeah, that little tiny one's like $35. It's yeah. Not very expensive. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's also really cool too because like it really it collapses down to nothing because it has like this aluminum frame. Yeah, it's really handy to have something like this. Yeah. yeah. It comes with that and then there's just, like all these different sheets. That you could put in it. Different colors. If you don't want to get the technical things that I've done before, I go down to the dollar store, got a poster board, and just like leaned it against something. I would even like, like, something to make sure the right lighting inside with like, you know, your lights are like over there, lights over here. And those, we got those off of Amazon too, didn't we? Yeah. You could, yeah, you could get those off of BH or Amazon. And I feel like they're not too expensive for the set either. So, um, and also, like I said, I've taken like, just like a plain poster board before, I've gone outside when the, the sunlight, it can't be too harsh, because if it's like super harsh, uh, you'll get too many shadows and things will get washed out. So cloudy days, like um, right before the sun comes down, the sun coming up, kind of like, like the golden hour, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good time if you want to just get outside. Um, so that's a way to do that. And also uh, for people who do things like, because like you're going to be hanging something, right? I can hang it. I can yeah. It. I yeah, can, yeah. 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 Totally. So on well, things like that too, um, I have kind of like cheated before where like I'll have like something like this and like I'll get like a hanging system and I'll put like a little sheet of paper behind it, put like a little hole in it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you like have like make it like a little stand, yeah. right? And then just make a little wire that goes out that has a hook. You put your, your backdrop paper on that hook, it leans up against its own self, right? Okay. And then you put your hanging object. So then you just get hanging. Exactly. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. So and you could do things like because you have like a little bit of a transparent background so if you want the light to come through it. That doesn't really probably matter as much for green catch as it does for like stained glass and stuff like that, but still. You could kind of like play around with that because the thing of it is the awesome thing about photography is you're cropping everything out so mm -hmm. if you have like horrible stuff on the side it doesn't matter no mm -hmm. one's going to see that so um and another thing if you're doing something uh like like if you're moccasin three-dimensional um we were talking earlier about doing like videos and stuff they have these really cool like rotating platforms it's almost like a tiny lazy season you could put it in the light box or something like that and oh, have it like spin around so you can see like all angles mm -hmm. of your work. And it's electrified? Yeah, you can get them electrified. And I feel like I've seen ones where you could just try to do this. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like. And then you can slow it down if it's long. Yeah, yeah, totally. It has speeds and stuff like that. Like, so mm -hmm. you can do stuff like that. And so, um, do you guys just want to kind of start putting your stuff around and just take some photos and kind of get the feel of it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I don't have anything completed with me. That's fine. I'm like, I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> I have at least three it's more than a it's more than a <laughs> I totally, I'm like sitting there, I'm like, I'm the only one that probably has a thing full of sticks, and I'm like, here's my work. <laughs> I actually have a box full of sticks. So yeah. I get you. <laughs> I don't even have a lot of sticks. Yeah. It's all good. And so what we can also do too is we can, um, I can just go grab some objects and we can play with some objects too. I mean, these are cool. Like, yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay. I like how you just stacked them like a bit. Yeah. I mean, I have enough here to play with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have so.
so many like half finished projects. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's like the plight of like the maker is like all of your half done projects, right? I don't know that. So and then all the stuff. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so much stuff. Oh, that looks cool. I could just board this away, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to show my unfinished work because I always say, oh, it's going to get better. <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. I literally was talking to a woman yesterday. She's like, I don't want to finish this one because I don't want to sell it. Um, and then she was like, and then I don't want to finish this one because I don't want to sell it. Um, <laughs> she was like, <laughs> that's how I feel with like this work that I brought with me because it's like stuff that I made in high school and it's just like so like meaningful like this one I won first place at the state Bonaventure art show with it oh, yeah. and that's like where my inspiration all like stem from was in school creating oh. yeah. it's their leaves in a car window and I took a photo of it and then altered it in Photoshop to the colors and then drew it with my colors. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, color pencil drawing I did while I was just at home with my baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like in a really dark spot like mentally so like art was like always like my feeling. Yes. Method. I hear you on and that. So what, what I was going through, I just like threw in my yeah my personal feeling. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. Really fun. Oh yeah. Let's start cutting some stuff. All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. We have to go like the whiskey. Is I didn't even care. I'm glad I was. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the one I should have dropped off last night, but I actually fell asleep instead. So it's still hanging in my car. I'm like, no, I need to grab a completed one at least. You know? I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little. Oh, sorry. System. Oh, no problem. All right, should I put it here? Let's go. Okay. Uh, so I think. You're I'm gonna do the little one here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right Good, yes. I think okay. people are playing here. Is this spot? Yeah, yeah. This is Allison. Allie or Allison? No. You can call me Allie. I, I, no, no. I don't respond to Al. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey. <laughs> uh, Penny, Allison. Do you guys know each other? Yeah, sort of. Okay, all right. It's pretty new here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a tonight. Yes, we here. So I don't know if you would like these. These are if you want to get technical about cameras, we're not really gonna go crazy. Oh, okay. okay. So interesting. Okay. Good. Is this nice? You have a I love that little and then we're going to <coughs> But then we also have um, oh, okay. like so awesome. cool. So I have this little thing. I'm gonna get a grab a sheet of paper. Oh, okay. I'll be talking here. So the water is back. Oh perfect. Yeah, okay. So I just want to think of like how big of a piece of paper. So I'm going to run all this one today. I get secret. I mean, practical on the skill. I think if you I'm not so. No, no, but I'm going to do two messages. I think I can do Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going to be going to buy myself one of these. Say what? I said I'm going to go buy myself one of these. I know, right? They're like the coolest thing ever. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. It's totally different. Yeah. Okay. 
Like, I'm like, it's totally different. They do it after. Like, you can see yeah. the brand. Right, like, if it's. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm like, it's totally different. Cool, huh? Okay. So when you are Yes. No, because it looks so cool. I know, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even do anything. So much of photography is lighting. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay, so this is what I'm working on it. I know. I was going to, it's great, three by three. Ooh, I like this. I never, I wasn't, yeah. I, I made a, I made one, I, finally did it. I made one one time, like this big. Oh no, what is that? You said to look like. Doesn't it look nice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's totally different. Free dream. Oh, Free dream. <laughs> So uh, that stack of uh, uh, circles? circles, how long for to do all of those? Uh, I don't know. When you're in your groove. Oh, when I'm in my groove. Uh, yeah. Not long. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get groovy because I have I have orders. That, that's why I have these with me because I'm like this, these are the last of this one. I only have 31 of this size right now. Okay. I don't even have them. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I can't even break them. I should be putting them in a better container than just throwing them because. And you're being recorded. Many <laughs> people are going to watch it. I'm not sure how to release this. <laughs> how do I free my phone? No, I meant just releasing my phone oh. from this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Wait, hold on. She's like, this. Okay, there we go. So that I can travel. Oh, yeah, you can. You could do it like that. Let me just get it. Right? Light boxes. So, uh, FYI, we have all of this at the museum. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys are welcome to come and use it. Yeah, this is really cool. You have the light boxes too? Yeah, we got a light, not not a box. We it's more like, like this type setup. of set. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the big lights. No, I've seen this. Yeah. But this is awesome. Y'all should invest in this. I know. I mean, let's go look at the big one. Just like a DSLR. Check that one out. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, he just showed me a nice trick, so I never. What was your it. trick? Can you tell yeah. the world? Yeah. <laughs> he told me that. When you're zooming in, uh -huh. click in the center. Oh, yeah. And then your, and then there's, a, there's a contrast. So you do your exposure. Up yeah. And down. I did not know this. Mm -hmm. And then, boom. Looks so nice. Yeah. That's really oh, nice. You, and then, so if you really want to get the technical, there's there are apps out there. Act just like a DSLR, just like this. Uh, okay. Camera. Right. In the iPhone, well, they all work with it. The right. iPhone, like a natural for it. It is. Basically, it is. You I've can seen do my white son. Hours, and that's what I would always do. I always put a white sheet in front of it, and I, I take a photo of it using a white balance, and it does it automatically. Oh, so okay. Every photo that you take after that in that light setting will be already adjusted for that white balance. So, so you hardly have to do any adjustment. It's what you see is what you get. Okay, mm. great. That's good to so, know. And it's a uh, simple app. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, Camera Plus Two. Camera Plus Two. Yeah. Okay. And it's a really strong app. It does just about everything you can possibly imagine at any DSLR. Okay. So you can do a lot of things. So when you um, upload that to the computer, say so you're going to put it on your Mac or whatever. Yep. Can you send that on as a JPEG? Yep. Would it be like a raw file or 
like no, a... raw would just be through well if the DSLR on, on that app will do a raw file. Oh yeah. okay. The raw okay. you if you I'm familiar with the name of raw yeah. you've always worked with it before. Well it was just because of the the digital yeah. the new yeah these stuff. cameras yeah. so basically then you can take it in, the <laughs> yeah, in raw format it's amazing because yeah. you can actually yeah. change the, yeah. the you know settings you can actually change the focus. Okay. Or something slightly out of focus. Yeah. You can actually focus. Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. insane, but yeah. it's just taking like 25,000 versions of it and cramming it all together into medicine. And then you can adjust oh, it afterwards yeah. and then you commit to basically develop it once okay. you do the raw part. Yeah. And you can, you can do that in this program too. Okay. That usually when you say officially your iPhone, you yeah. get yeah. higher resolution. That's already high resolution. Okay, good. Good to know too, because I didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, I tried to submit things, you know, like Sonoma Gan or something like that, and I want to make sure yeah. the resolution is high enough when I send it all to Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize that. So I always leave my phone on the highest setting. Okay. But then I can always just break it down. Okay. I'm going to go check over where Lenore. I will go with you. <laughs> See what they're doing. Uh -huh. yeah. What are you doing? Nice Tell one. the world. <laughs> creating a life I love. <laughs> <laughs> like creating. <laughs> so this is actually new inspiration to me. I um, am indulging in the language of our culture, and I mm -hmm. want to be a better speaker and uh, you know pass that speaking and language to my children and I feel very, very deep in my core to do so and do it with meaning and like sharing it because I also love like home decor and like why not have home decor with a Seneca words on it and cover it to our home and see it on like on a daily basis and it'd be cool to have like clothes with Seneca words on it too you know mm -hmm. so like more of that just like seeing it and recognizing it and knowing what it means <laughs> so what's the scene? Um, other one. Oh no, it means I'm grateful. It was me. Did you take it already? You're so fast. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, so, yeah. Would like to later. You want the glue to be yeah. there, but I can show you what this like. Cool. Or I can get one of my candy dollar and show you when they're really shiny. So, you can actually, yeah, it's, only, it's only making me get the subtle adjustment. It's actually, it's actually <laughs> waffling between. This is a touch. It is. Yeah, you can actually touch it. It'll focus right on what you're touching. But it's uh, the polarizing lens will take a lot of the reflections out. So it actually, actually, it will take a lot of the fun away from this. It's better to shoot it on your with a phone yeah. when you're doing glitter and things like that. Yeah. But if let's say if you add something, like this, uh, you know, we're not live. Are we? Sam is there. Like if you hit the best behind glass. Oh, Sam, just okay. 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 I am recording it. Isn't that a nice piece? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there's some oh, reflection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. You so got to get close up to get away from the reflection. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, yeah. well, what I'll do is I'll just adjust it until I, until I get all the reflections that I possibly can because sometimes you can't take it the glass way oh, yeah. or, or the reflection. But, but other times, what you may have to do is shoot on a, like, a, a, a bias yeah. and get. Change the angle of it and shoot oh, yeah. them. Mm -hmm. And what that will do is get the reflection out, but then in Photoshop, I'll, I'll set up a measure and I'll, I'll just distort it back to, to, oh, where, okay. it's, to where it's natural, so okay. to, to where it's square. But a polarizing lens, so, so what it is, is this little, it's a, a, a round filter on it. Right? And it's called a circular polarizing lens. And what you can do is, like, say you're standing in of some a water, a pond, you can actually take all the reflections of the sky out of the water and see mm. through the water. You can see, oh, like, fish swimming around oh, in it. Cool. You know, really, a really strong polarized 
setting will work that way. So the polarized polarization takes all the reflections out, or you can adjust it to you get just the reflections you want. If you're taking like a, 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 a piece of photograph of some water, you can put your line, get it out of the painting because it's oil or it's reflective. You can use the polarizing lens and take it away. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. So my husband likes to have those like polarized sunglasses. Yep. Because I think. And I know sometimes if I'm out in the field with my neat and I have my camera with me, my phone, I mean, I'll just take my sunglasses and put them right there. Oh, and I'll, okay. I'll take the polarization. Okay. Off. Right. So now, uh, do you use a certain glass when you frame yeah. too, like so that it's non-glare or yeah, whatever? Yeah, museum glass. Yeah, museum yeah. glass. So this, mm. this has just the UV protection on it. Okay. But that's just for the mats because it's all oil painted. Oh, okay. 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 But I do. Yeah, there are. Uh, not a glare. It's really kind of glass. There's a museum coating. It has a coating on the, oh, on the okay. outside. Oh, okay. There's no reflection. Because that's um, even like archival when you're doing oh, something, yeah. say, in, in my house, I know I have um, like the pine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, wood on the, on the wall. So my house looks orange, like instead of mm -hmm. like yeah. natural, but mm -hmm. the sun comes in and it will sun stain yeah, I mean, basically the swap. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put anything on it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Because yeah. any of the artwork will, oh, will, will be affected, yeah. technically. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I should probably move these things, you know. Yeah. I know yeah. the frames are being sun, sun stained, I guess, is what it is. Yeah. It'll get so, leech. Yeah. Someone will leach. Sometimes it will leach the wall. It's usually just UV radiation. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's a natural thing, though. A natural yeah. occurrence, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, but I yeah. just, I'm like, I'm really conscientious about what goes on that wall now because of the sun coming up over here on yeah. the east side, you know? Yeah, so. that's, I, but that's usually for watercolor photographs. Uh, color pencils. Yeah. They're all they're fugitive. Yeah, yeah. Some colors are more fugitive than others. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Uh, but all, what I'm using, all, what I'm using are permanent paintings. Okay. Uh, Do you have another one? Yeah, the color pencil. I think it's got reflection. So you take a picture of it. Were there any? Yeah, so if there's any reflection, you can, you can do sometimes it. Okay. it all depends on. Um, yeah. So if you look at yeah. On certain angles, like way over here, you can see a lot of reflections like straight on. That's why you that's why you put these lights like this at a sharper angle. So it'll take so then when you're looking straight on, it's got no reflection. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what they're doing over here. Yeah. So what are you guys doing over here? We're taking pictures of her of her dream catcher. Oh, it's the same dream catcher? Well she she hung it so that it actually oh, yeah. is not so that it didn't move and then it was actually mm -hmm. off of the paper. We were just saying how, like, if she wanted to take pictures of her bigger pieces, mm -hmm. um, and she was showing me pictures that she took outside, the lighting was really nice, but there was so much going on in the background, you couldn't see, True, yeah. like, the detail of her work. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about, like, you put up, like, a sheet or something that's just, like, or a piece of poster board that's white. Mm -hmm. So then um, it's, like, you can capture the detail because you're not focusing on the background. Anymore. True. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm, Just I'm glad you're getting. It's probably like a dollar at the dollar store. Oh yeah, you can get a whole bunch of poster boards for cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, even a white, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or like even like a sheet or something mm -hmm. for a dollar. Yeah. And then you can reuse it. And yeah. Make your bed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I went to the whole big photo shoot, and I probably shouldn't have used the white tarp because it was reflective. Oh yeah. But I was able to make it work. Uh huh. Just like just kind of like finding whatever you can mm -hmm. and as long as you can make it look good you're good mm -hmm. and now with digital cameras you, do, you can take as many as you want it's I not know. like and where you have film and so well they really do sometimes i get frustrated because i have this 
I saved up all my money. I finally got this really nice DSLR camera. Mm -hmm. And then it's been a few years since I've had it and it's been great. But then now sometimes I'll take a picture with my phone and a picture with the camera and I'm like, I like the phone picture better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. And I'm happy that I can still take good pictures. Exactly. Can I see how they're coming out? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's nice. So then also a thing that you could do too, we could, um, you know what, I'm going to push this back just a little bit because I feel like a lot of light is getting on the behind it instead of in front of it. Is that what it's doing? Because that's it doesn't seem right. Yeah, it doesn't. So um, let's open this up. Maybe take the front, like you said, leave the front open. Oh. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the light because this light can slide down. Hold it. Oh. Look at that. And then. Oh, that's cool. Because <laughs> I really want. Oh, those are really nice, Joe. She um, says it's the lighting, but I think it's the photographer. How much better than I think it's the art. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're Let, right. Let's be real. <laughs> I mean, it's all about the art. No, the end, right? Exactly. That's why we're doing all this. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I, I love this box thing. I know. I is it B and H? You can't, I, I, think think I figure has, Amazon. Like this, but this, is, yeah. this is Amazon. I just like B and H. I do too. I used to, when we went to visit New York City, our field trip would be to B&H. Every time we went. Yes, with the kids. So we're taking like little eight-year-olds to B&H. And look how fun this is. And they have like these sugar-free candies there. And they're just like all around. So you could like take as many as you want. And then it was a cultural experience too, because it's Hasidic. Yeah. And it's really a nice place because the conveyor belt yeah. system. Yeah, so you just always have to make sure that your light is like where you need it in your piece. So just keep moving the lights and manipulating them how you want it so you get the best image that you can get. Sam, are you loving this? I hope you're <laughs> yeah, still there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I have a light box that I use for my stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I find that the pictures that I use uh, that I use with the bigger light box are really nice. Um, and I used to use just like a black velvet um, background because it absorbs the light. So if I had anything bright, I would put it on the black. And if I have any dark, I would put it in the white. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. yeah she's a pro. She is. Yeah. She's so <laughs> and I also like that that fabric, it doesn't wrinkle as easily. Yes. I don't like ironing anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never, yeah, I never did. <laughs> it's not a fun task. So how do those come out compared to the other? Yeah, and then you can crop that down mm -hmm. if you want. And then, yeah, yeah, totally. It looks totally different. I was actually going back to see the difference in the picture. Yeah, yeah. Can so you, you show? just, you just kind of like have to- I'm going to do a side by side of it so you can see. Oh, awesome. they definitely, okay. There's definitely a difference in the lighting of it. This is such a fun workshop. I think this is the funnest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a difference. So that's even. Yeah. Okay. I get questions now. Yeah. Some of these look like they're over here. Yeah. But they don't look. Well, it is pretty white. This is a really white wood. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did the white background. I don't. How do I know which one's right? <laughs> Here, let me come over there. Okay. So, okay. Then I did the back, the black background, oh, and that's nice. where I get the little bit of a that curve in the back. Okay. Okay. So, I just wanted to know which one do I know is. So I would say this is a little bit washed out. Okay, too washed out. Because um, this way you can kind of focus on the details. Right. And I feel like with the other one. You 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 have the details there, but you're starting to lose it because right, the contrast the type, isn't enough. They're too white, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. So see how that has like the nice contrast between the the shadow and the yeah. light. Okay, so this one's better. Yes, mm -hmm. I would say the handles though. 
are starting are starting to get like where you can't see the detail. Okay. Mm hmm Because I just noticed when I was in the white one, not this one, mm -hmm. how different they look. Yes. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> And the thing about that too is, um, oh, wow. yeah. we can right. show you too when we, we pull that mm -hmm. into the program. Like, this is a really good shot, but I feel like you almost want a hair lighter. Okay. okay um, so we could break take into that program. Or actually, if you have an iPhone. Let's let's go. Just go to edit here. Uh huh. And when you go into edit, well, because first just by hitting the auto, just to see what it does itself. So I feel like that's a little bit too saturated. Yeah. And it's a little bit too dark. Okay. So then you could start going through these different things on the bottom. They could just like, do you mind if I touch? No, go ahead. Okay. So you can kind of, let's see, is that shadows? That's brightness. So I always like to play with brightness and contrast the okay. most. So I would just bump it up just a little bit brighter. And then you see you're starting to yeah. lose that. So you come back. So I always like to go a little bit too far. And then okay. Come back. Okay. Yes. And then um, black point is about shadow. So, and then let's see the saturation, which I feel like. I, do you feel like this is oversaturated? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's hard. It's hard because yeah, it like, is. It, it I is. feel like this is so close to, um, like it's just such a light yellow, such a light. Yeah, green, like you it know? is. So That's it's hard to tell. It's so hard to but, photograph it. Like sometimes, like I, I go back to where it's not saturated and it's just like too much. So I kind of just would leave it on zero. Okay. Vibrance is kind of the same thing. It's a little bit different, but it's and then, very. I I didn't even see it. <laughs> <I know. laughs> mm. So this is kind of like. So then you can just kind of keep going through these things and playing. Sometimes I've noticed because iPhones are weird. Um, here we'll just hit done for now. Okay, fine. Sometimes I've noticed if you try to post it, occasionally it's not going to yeah. save all your changes. So if you want. If you push, I believe it's the top volume button and the um a screenshot. The, yeah, you get a screenshot of it. And then you could just crop it. Oh, oh, it won. Oh, my battery is low. Uh -oh. Is yeah. it the is it the volume button? Yeah, it's the volume button and the circle. So well for me it would be like this. So if I'm doing a screenshot, it goes like this. For when you do a screenshot, it's the volume button and this. So hit it together simultaneously. Yeah. Huh, why is it not doing? That's a tricky one. Oh, top. Oh, okay. Top, bottom. Hmm. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Thank you. Do you mind if I try? Let me see if I can, if I can make it work. Oh, okay. See? Oh. Why is it being silly? Why are you being silly with me? Maybe is it this? This is a 12. That's why I yeah, cut your foot. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes. It's this, the power button and this. Oh, okay. So then we could go here and then you could just kind of crop it. Not that you want right, to save right, this right. photo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's great abstraction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll just go to just go to Yeah. But you you're only gonna have to do that if when you take like say the photo that you touched up and you like, and then you're taking that photo into social media mm -hmm. and it doesn't, if the, the touch-ups don't stay, if, if, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I would do the screenshot sort of as tricking the phone and so oh, this is okay. what you want. That's okay. the only reason you would do a screenshot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. It does. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, and then we'll show you kind of like if you want to learn how to touch up some things, like if you, I don't know, like say you're doing like a postcard or something with your baskets on it. Right. I actually, what I was doing was every, well, when I ran out of business cards, it wasn't every year because I don't run out of business cards in a whole year. <laughs> but I pick a new basket and that yeah. would be on mm -hmm. my business card. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, I do a doll or a basket, and then they'd alternate. So I got both the doll and the basket. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so I need to readjust this one because uh, it's mm -hmm. too close to the bottom. Okay, so honestly, I would just retake that photo really? because, yeah, like see how this has, you want that breathing room. 
Okay. Because I feel like the human eye gets really weird when things are close to the edge. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> when I, that, I was like, that's a good shot, but it's a it. great shot. <laughs> oh, darn it. I was but too close the to only that. thing I would do if you want to save the shot is I would crop it in even closer yeah. so you would cut part of the basket off, but then yeah. that would feel kind of, okay, yeah. you know. Okay. I'll try it again. How's that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And then even too, I feel like with the... The contrast with the black is really nice with that. Yeah, I, I think I like it better with the black. I do too, mm -hmm. because it just it, it does look clean over there, but it's I don't want to oversaturate it like you're saying. Well, you, if you want to, when you go home and you try to take some of the, get like a piece of fabric. Okay. Because the fabric is going to um, absorb more of that light. Because this is this is the I guess the the vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. the vinyl is just yeah. kind of like popping that light right back out. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes I, I get like a um a thing to lean my phone on. Let me see if I could find you. Do you want the tripod? Or oh yeah, let me get that tripod. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> yeah I'm I'm moving around. <laughs> I gotta wait for my little smaller. <laughs> Oh, yeah. right. so, um, and then you have white balance. Everything below that will be will be changed. Uh, Please, Sam. Yeah. Um, can you ask them what kind of light boxes those are? I know um, Adrian and I were talking about getting a light box for the Sully, and I really like the way that you can adjust the lights on both of those. Did you want to answer that? Yeah, Mike? Uh, we got them okay. from. Uh, we got them off Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's the name of the brand, the small one. And that was okay. Like yeah. The larger ones are uh, Amazon. 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 Same thing. Okay. That was, I think those were like $100. Four foot or 40, 40 inches square. Yeah, they're a good size. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> so if I, if I move these, that was an adjustment layer that I already merged. should have the static photograph that we had. Um, he's an old timer, great uh, sculptor, but he, he's just getting you know, strong willed and he kept arguing with John was trying to you can take a very good photograph and it's like it looks boring and flat mm. and there's no scale to them. And why they're arguing to each other, I walked up to one of them and did that. Oh. That looks awesome. It took me six seconds to do that. Wow. And, I walked, and then I walked up to him and showed him. And then he walked and goes, 
how you do that, I said, that's how you should show your work. Yeah. yeah. It's three dimensional. It's cool. And yeah. I was just put it on wide angle on my iPhone. And I had walked up to it like that. Right. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. And, Let me get it. <laughs> and then it stops for a minute. I think every phone okay. company does. Like, yeah. They all do it. But it, yeah. but it, it was one of the first ones that I ever took on that wide angle one. And I was standing there and I just showed him. And then he went, oh, I'm going to listen to you. What I'm going to say from now on. So I said, yeah, let your work speak for itself. You got to stop complaining about everything. Show mm-hmm. your work like mm-hmm. that makes people go, Oh, true. Wow. Look at that. So, you know, those little strong devices that we have in our pockets can do a lot for us. So. Mm-hmm. You want to try one of those three, those uh, three dimensional video thing over there on the pedestal? I want to watch it. Yes. Yeah, the three. Yeah. Oh, I'm at 20%. So I'm almost. Okay. Are we following? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh. Okay. Yeah, please, please. Yeah, please. Hello, I'm Let's do it out here with a cool one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Very nice. I think for three dimensional things, something like that really shows, you know, what something can do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Okay, I would think so. I wouldn't be tripping around. <laughs> 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 so that's like a or yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, six seconds. Six seconds. Yeah. Okay. Just because that's all you really need for, especially putting them in competition. So right, right. right. Mm. Say, yeah, I'm three dimensional, send me a video. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think those are more tactile. Yeah, true, true, true. Get your attention because it's short. So, for an outdoor, outdoor uh, environment? Sure, outdoor. that'd be cool, yeah. Yeah, outdoor would be helpful. And what I was saying before, too, um, make sure the light isn't too bright and harsh because if the light's too bright and harsh it, it'll be like really dark shadows and then wash out detail so we want either a cloudy day or like right when the sun is like um you know like rising or setting not not like not at its harsh if mm-hmm. that makes sense. so like an overcast overcast is perfect but you can you also have that option changing the exposure Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay the, yeah, yeah. Before the video starts, do the same thing. Change the exposure. Just right. So you can also do this with your iPhone or the same version, but you can also do that and change. This actually changes the lens from a wide angle. Nice. Yeah, so that's, that's like 15. <laughs> Millimeter, that's like a 50 millimeter, which is like straight up, and then you can zoom in. To, but uh, the widest one is really impactful, especially if it's, if it's just the right size, you know, it'll fit. So we'll zoom in a little bit. You know, there's a whole bunch of different versions that are really. <laughs> There's also a level on so the many, like, weird, yeah, like, iPhone. Okay. Movements of, like, I like that. So if you're hanging oh, yeah. things. Okay, so see this right here where it says 1x? Mm-hmm. You hold it down. And then you can kind of play with the bottle. 
Oh, I know. I didn't know that either. Mm. Okay. How did you do that? Oh, yeah. So on video, mm -hmm. uh, you hit where it says the circle, it says 1x, mm -hmm. and then the dial comes up. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of mess with that. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like you can do it with the pictures too. Make the face too. Okay. Again, like how you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. What because you could do it with um the pictures too, and I don't have an iPhone. I'm an Android, and oh. it's the same. Oh, okay. Same way you tap it, and oh, it goes yeah. to the. Glad to know. Goes to your little setting. That is really cool. Cool. Oh, you were hurt before, but I did not. They sell these little like they're like tiny lazy like they're like rotating bases. Um, and then you can always fix the. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's so good. What do you order your stones from? I get them from uh, Fire Mountain Gem in Bend, Oregon. So my Can dad and mom used to order from them. Like, oh my goodness, it was so long ago, 25 years ago. Okay. And I from the shelter still. And they sure bring something over from here real quick. Oregon. When you do all that, I always make sure to get like the authentic because there's two different ones on there. You can get like the man made ones and then authentic ones. Yeah, I try to stick, I stick to the authentic, authentic ones, yeah. they're a little, they're more, mm-hmm. but. goes to one okay right here because mm-hmm. it's so many mm-hmm. then to like a tiny little braid it's maybe like braiding yeah. them yeah. off yeah, yeah. Cool. I love this so you could just swap it on mm-hmm. right. so, and then i feel like they are sure like they yeah. have to be to with like joint fabrics you know like you can get these little guys to yeah. anywhere and then it's the same thing. So now you have like pretty decent lighting. You want to make sure it's not too harsh because the gems are going to like pick up the highlights and stuff like that. But I mean, this isn't too bad. We put the light, we moved the lights on this one because before when we were taking pictures, the lights were too far back and it wasn't actually lighting the piece, it was lighting more behind it. So we moved the light like here and here. It does. So, and then you can see like the inside is kind of like reflective silver. Mm-hmm. So that's really helpful. So then if you, would you like to take the honors of taking the picture? <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> it just doesn't look like mine. That's crazy. <laughs> that is so wow. Yeah, so oh, that looks so nice. Yeah, so now I'm like that is crazy. Yeah, so all it is right now is just it's lighting and display and like all of this together is it's not too expensive to make something like that, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. 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 Wow. I've even seen some people before do things where like it's a piece of wood, you stick a nail in and then you cut the like you know, like nail, 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 and nail, and then it's hmm. sort of like hanging. Mm-hmm. But it's just done in a really like um, what I'm looking for, intentional way. So mm-hmm. as long as you're taking things like an intentional way, where it looks good to your eye, like just like you know, you're an artist, you got yeah. that artist eye. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure that like that's the way you're presenting your work. Great advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. cropping and composition, mm-hmm. but also a good thing too is just mm-hmm. make sure that yeah. if it has stuff in the background, make sure the composition looks good. That, yeah, that yeah. right there, that nice gradation behind it. Yeah, so yeah. Delineated with a. Do you, do you want the light or the dark? Yeah, let's try it up. They're definitely cropping things too. So you could kind of like play, like when you're saying cropping, yeah. like you could like really play with like what someone's focusing on. Like, are you focusing on the piece as a whole? Are you focusing on like a, some detail of your work? So things like that are is really helpful too. Once you kind of like, and you could play with cropping in the computer or your phone too. You're trapped. Are you? Are you? Do you feel trapped? No, I'm. Oh, okay. (laughs) 
Oh, wow. <laughs> That's such a fun noise. I like your happy noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was really good. Yeah. yeah. And then you could go kind of like cross that in too. You know what? Let's take it over because we see so the so bigger much one. Of yeah. And this is such a big piece. Let's take it over here. Yeah. First shot in or took in that one. Was a big so it's when Peter Jones had his COVID head in here. And I took it and I had a third box. Yeah. And I zapped it and I sent it to him just on my phone, but it was just, just all lit up in that white box. Mm -hmm. And I just sent him two photographs. And he went, Oh, what's that? I go, I, go, I just came from the Met. It's down in the Metropolitan Museum. And he goes, Oh, man. <laughs> Just, if that was mine, I said, I'm just keeping it right here. Uh -huh. goes, Sold. Oh, right, right. Sold it right there. And I said, Oh my God. I said, He goes, Why'd you get that photograph? I said, In the light box. And you can see now you don't have all that other stuff in the background, so you can focus so much more on the actual piece. Yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking about that with the picture. Uh, those edges were so close to the mm -hmm. necklace. Right. Uh, it, it was, would it be was, a close crop. It would be a really close crop. And then it would be a lot of like fussy Photoshop work that like, why do that to yourself when you could meet, spend so much less time if you just worked on setting up what your background yeah. looks like. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was saying too, to them, it, if like you want to go um, like, and you don't want to set up all the lighting inside and it's a nice day, just go grab a sheet or something like that. If you have like a bigger piece, hang it up and then take your, your, your picture outside and then you don't have to worry about all that background noise. Find something you could just use in your house mm -hmm. or a poster board or something, you know? I feel like I've used wrapping paper before even, you know, just mm -hmm. grabbing whatever I had. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I use your exposure today? <laughs> 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 you probably should even, when you were doing the, the back of the little video, it's just so big in this tent, you probably should do like a little yeah, video there. Yeah, it's kind of done it, yeah. Yeah. It's that good lighting. <laughs> it is good lighting. <laughs> Can I see your video? Um, he it's on my phone. I don't have it on my phone. You want to put it on the website? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I can yeah, text he can it to you or send it to you. Oh, yeah, you should do. You should do a little write up too to use your storytelling um, <laughs> workshop <laughs> skills. That's true. Uh huh. You guys could all do it. Can't see the video. <laughs> You're trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Making an effort. And then we get into their shows and nobody sees my stuff. He goes, you, you take a horrible photograph. And I walked him to that. He goes, oh, all right, I'm doing whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> he, he has the equipment. He doesn't he's care. Got a brand new, but now he does. Now he's like, hmm, can you come here oh, and yeah. show him how to do that again? Oh, yeah. So he's like, yeah. Because hmm. as soon as I showed him, I said, there you go. See, it work. let your work speak for itself. Because he has a tendency. Which is fine when you say nice things, but he goes on to that judge didn't know what she's talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, so that I think that makes all the difference, especially for three dimensional stuff. I think you see it in a totally different light. And it's cool to bring your art to life with the photography yeah. and videography. Yeah. Cool. Huh?
Yeah. Because yeah. so many people are like yeah. this anymore too. So when it, when exactly. something catches them, then they think, "It's a fool looking." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't need to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you take a picture of it? Where? Over on the. Yeah. Either one. Oh, well, we have to do it in here. Yeah, yeah, because there's so much white on that one. I want to go on the black. Is that one of your pieces? <laughs> What's the um, white part? A uh, warthog tusk. Oh, really? Wow. Nice. Uh, I got to go ahead and roll. No, no, that's all good. <laughs> I have earrings, too. And then we have a cane. Oh, we did one for a cane for Joe's uncle because we got a bunch of warthog tusks. Oh, really? Philippe, where did you get the uh, warthog tusk from? When we were in South Africa, um, a I friend of ours had a bunch of them. I think they went hunting and they weren't doing anything. So they gave them to us. That's cool. I also have a lot of uh, very big porcupine quills, like African porcupine quills. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause um, they would eat the potatoes that my grandfather would plant and then my grandfather would eat them. So. <laughs> and they just had the the um the quills so i was like oh can i have them cool it looks really good on the i had i had better results earlier by just having it on the way yeah because on my phone i can go in and match the color and just you yeah, know, yeah. get rid of the background Mm -hmm. or just, you know, because there's little fuzzies and stuff on it. So I just turn it off the fuzz and just say, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. 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 So. Will you have any of that in your show? I could. You, know, you could do the, the there's some that you're in, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. As, she's having a show here. Yeah. Uh, it includes I, jewelry. She has lots of jewelry that she's made. I guess. I lose things though. <laughs> <laughs> but the word hog talk the there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. I guess it's 721. Oh, good. So, I went to work at 6.30. I know. Sure. So, um, it's been a long day. Yeah. yeah. It's been a busy one. Thank you. Our okay. artists in residence. Thank you to our director. Thank you to our hosts, Allison and Michael, and Tri-County Arts. And if you haven't been here before, come. They're awesome people. So uh, I think when we kind of get closer to the end, Chloe, we should have our uh, guests come to the museum for and guest tour. Yeah. For people who have been nice and hosted us and, and showed us things, we should show them what they're helping. Maybe. Yeah. Sounds good. My favorite place. You can have a party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Sam. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Nice meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm ending. <laughs>